What's up guys? I'm Wesley Singerman. I'm a music producer and guitar player, and my career has led me to work and play alongside with amazing artists such as Kehlani, Travis Barker, Party Favor, Anderson Pack, Kendrick Lamar, and many others. Join me for this guitar tutorial. Something else that I love to do is resampling. This is when I take the loop that I have and I decide to chop up pieces of it like a sample or manipulate it in some sort of a way that's different from the original. There are many ways to do this, but I'll show you the way that I like to do it. On Ableton, you can set up an audio track and set it to resample, which means it's gonna record everything that's happening in your project, but only as a single audio track. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna open a new audio track and then the input, right now it says external in. But when I click this menu, there's an option here for resampling. So when I click resampling, it's gonna end up recording every single thing that I have going on, which at the moment is just these three guitar tracks put together. So let's try that now. I'm gonna hit the record button and it's just gonna do all the work for me. Now you can see in the audio form, that it's coming in a little bit differently. It's coming in as a stereo track, and it's because it's recording everything that we have, including all of the effects. And now we can listen back. Before I do this, I'm gonna mute the other guitar tracks that we're already playing, and I'm only gonna listen to the new sample. And just to be extra careful, I'm gonna retitle this sample. Let's listen back. Perfect, it did its job exactly. <laughs> now that we have our loop as a single track with all the effects already on it, let's try experimenting with changing the pitch a little bit. So if I double click on this track right here, it pulls up with this kind of cool menu and one of the buttons says pitch. So if I just move this up and down, it's gonna change the pitch by half steps. So each, each plus one plus two is another half step. And so if I press play, I'll show you what that does. We can either use our mouse to do this or I can use the arrow keys to do it one at a time, which is what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna pitch it up and we're gonna see what it sounds like. This is now up a full step. This sounds really nice. For fun, let's, let's push it a little bit more. I'm gonna go up to five half steps. That's also very cool. Not sure what I like here. Let's try going down. So I'm back to the original here. Let's, let's see what it sounds like when I pitch it down. Now this is down three half steps. It's kind of beautiful, right? It sounds pretty dark. I can't tell whether I like the, uh, the down or the, or the up better. Let's, let's keep going down a little bit, see what it sounds like. Hmm. That's cool, but I think I liked it when it was a little bit higher up. So I'm just gonna push it back to minus three. That sounded really nice to me. So we can also mess with the tempo a little bit too. So from here, I know we had it at originally 107 BPM, but while this is playing, I'm gonna see if I could maybe slow it down or speed it up and see if it sounds any better that way. Let's try it. So I'm gonna go up to where my tempo is. And then I'm just gonna use my, my mouse to kind of pull it down. We're gonna bring it down and down. So here's now 96 BPM, much slower. Now that's cool. What if it sounds, wonder what it sounds like when it's faster. So this is now 127 BPM. That's kind of nice too. Hmm. Maybe I'll find a sweet spot just a little bit slower than this. This is 124 BPM now. That sounds pretty nice. Already this is taking on a whole new life. I'm gonna take it one step further and chop up this loop into smaller pieces and then play out those pieces on my computer keyboard. So let's check out what that looks like. Before I do anything, I'm gonna right click where, it's, where my track is and it says sample and then I'm going to freeze this track. What this is gonna do is it's gonna lock every change that I've made into place and prevent anything bad from happening before I decide to chop this. 
and then I'm gonna right click one more time and say flatten track and that's gonna solidify all of the changes that I may have made whether it be volume or effects changes or anything like that. When I right click on the audio track there's an option here that says slice to new MIDI track and when I click that it's giving me some menu options. I'm gonna choose half note because I want to sl slice this up into half notes. So every two beats is what a half note is. So we're gonna go one, two, then three, four is our next chop, then one, two, three, four. And then for the slicing preset, I like the built-in preset, but I'm going to do the built-in zero velocity preset because I want it to have zero velocity, which means every time I hit a button, it's gonna play the sample at the exact same volume. And so if I do that and click OK, it's gonna do all the work for me and chop it up onto a little drum pad. So you can trigger the samples here with a MIDI keyboard or any MIDI device, but for now I'm just gonna use my computer keyboard. And we're gonna see what that sounds like. So starting here on the lowest sample, that's a little chop right there. And then as I move up the keys, that's another chop. This is another chop. So we can start kind of messing with this. We can start going pretty fast or slow or doing any type of new thing with this and see how that sounds. Let me, let me try experimenting a little bit. We're gonna have... Hmm. kind of like that. So I'm triggering little bits of this sample. Now already this is kind of giving me sort of a new tempo, like dun, dun, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So before I move any further, I'm gonna mute the original sample, the one that I resampled already, and I'm gonna tap in the new tempo that I'm hearing. So I'm hearing it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's saying it's about 127 beats per minute. Maybe 128 is where I'll leave it at. So now we're still gonna use that eight bar loop, but I'm only gonna use the keyboard to trigger these new samples and replay my sample into a new piece. Let's try it. Four counts in, one, two, three, four, then. Now that was nice. All right, so I'm gonna try recording this new sample using all the chops that I did. Make sure your click is on and we're gonna get a nice four beat count in and we're gonna try and run it for eight bars. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. That was really nice. Let's listen back to what I did. Now I like this, but if you can kind of hear it with the click, not everything that I played is really accurately in time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called quantizing. Quantizing is when you take MIDI notes and you kind of snap them into the grid so that they're perfectly in time. So I'm gonna double click on the MIDI notes that I did. And then if I right click on, on this, it's gonna say quantize. And if I just click quantize, it's gonna automatically snap these to the grid so that they're perfectly in time. And when I listen back to the click, it should be perfect. Let's hear it. Ooh, that's nice. Now this is starting to sound like a beat. Thanks for following along. If you'd like to keep rocking out with me, check out my full class on Skillshare, plus my other classes on guitar. This learning path will take you from total novice to total shredder. You'll learn scales, chords, songwriting, and even a little music production. Click the link below to join me on Skillshare. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.